Hi everyone. So this uh, little presentation is going to talk you through subroutines and just explain a little bit about what that means and introduce you to those four key terms um, that you'll come across when we talk about subroutines in computing. Right, so the first thing is routine. So routine is the actual piece of code. So we, we call that a routine. So that will be your entire uh, program that does something. So that is your routine. Now subroutine is a is a smaller piece of code that we use within that code. So subroutine is a mini piece of code, if you like. Now we have two different types of subroutine that we talk about. We talk about functions and we also talk about procedures. And there's two key things which are um, that make them different. So the first one is that the procedure does something and the function will return a value. And I'm just going to explore that in more detail. So we've talked about this before probably um, just to make this secure in your mind. So let's start with the procedure. So here's a procedure. Just imagine that box there is a procedure and this one's just called say hello. So this procedure is going to say hello. So we're not really interested in what's in the box or the codes. We just at this point we just know that there's a procedure called say hello. The procedure is a subroutine. It's a mini program and this type is a, is a um, what we call a procedure. Now I'm going to give it an, an attribute and that is name. So we can give give that procedure something and we're going to call it name within the procedure and it's going to do something with that. So this procedure is actually going to say hello and we'll say hello to whatever word you put in there. So it will say hello that name um, and it will output to the screen. So we're going to give that procedure Fred. Fred is a string, so it's in speech marks. And then when we run it, it's going to say hello Fred. So it's done something, it's output to the screen. It's done something, um, it's the procedure, that's its little program. How it's coded in the box, we're not interested in. We just know that uh, we need to know that we can give it something. And if we give it something, it will say hello to that thing we give it to. So that's the procedure. And we can have procedures that do all kinds of things. Maybe print a menu might be a good one for you in your project. Right, so let's look at the function now. The function is slightly different. So the function does many things that the procedure does, but it also returns a value. So a good example here is a function that does an add. So just imagine mathematics or um, calculator working here. So in the box, we're just using that to um, say there's a, procedure, a function in there. We don't know what it says. We don't know how it's coded. We don't care as long as it does what we want it to do. So it's like in its own little compartment itself. It's a building block of a bigger piece of code. So this one is called add and it takes in two attributes there. So we have a number one and number two or number one, number two. So we're going to give it number one, number two, 10 and 15. And this time it's going to return a value to us with inside our main code of program. It's going to return the answer, which is 25. Now we don't need to know how we how it did it. It's pretty obvious how it did it, but we don't need to know that. We just need to know that if we give it two things, it will give us back that sum um, back to us. And that's returned within the computer program. And the program may continue doing other things and call other subroutines, which may be functional procedures, but they're mini blocks of code. Now, if we try and see this as a as a bigger piece of code, let's imagine a subroutine called get numbers, one called add numbers, and one called output numbers. And this is our main routine. So we'll put that in a bigger box here. So our routine is to get some numbers to add them and then display them on the screen. We've got the three subroutines inside there. So we're going to give it 10 and 15 here. So the user will input that. That's what get numbers is going to do. Get numbers is then going to pass those numbers to add numbers. Add numbers is then going to add them together and pass them on to out numbers and then Output numbers is then going to output them to the screen. So that's our little program there. That's what it's going to do. So now let's just think about what we've got. So we have um, subroutines, routines, functions, and procedures. So we're going to look at what's what within this whole thing. So the routine is the whole thing. So the whole route, the whole thing, all the code together is called the routine. The subroutines we've got in red there. We've got three subroutines. There are mini programs. Now get numbers is a function because it gets the numbers and it returns the values so it's going to go to um, the user input so the keyboard will get the input get the numbers they'll come back in it'll display to the screen as well so do a few things and it will give them back and then we're going to take those into add numbers add numbers is also a function because we're going to give it two things and it's going to return something back now output numbers doesn't give anything back within the 
program. So it's just a procedure and we're going to give it the answer and it's just going to stick it out on the screen. So that's a, that's a procedure there. So within this little diagram here, we have a routine, subroutine, function and procedure. And that's all you need to know. OK.